So, I wasn't really sure what kind of video I wanted to do today, particularly because I just ran out of ideas. But, I found this tag that I figured would be fun for you guys to watch. So, I think it's called the end of the year book tag. So, the first question is, are there any books that you started this year that you have yet to finish? And, I don't, but I have a book that I started last year or the previous year and I have not finished and I think I mentioned it but it is A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin I I think I mentioned it in my previous video my fall TBR video that I really want to finish this book this year because I kind of DNF'd it unconsciously I was pretty enjoying it it's just that it's huge and I already pretty much know what happens because of the show so yeah, I think that A Clash of Kings kind of fits that question and I hopefully I will be able to finish it this year. The next question is, do you have an autumnal book to help you transition into the next year? And I think that for me it's Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre is a book that I already started and I am about 60 pages into it. Hopefully I will be finishing it soon and I am also listening to this on audio so it's just been great but I do think that this feel feels a lot like fall. It has that very sort of I don't know vibe to it and the way that the atmosphere is described so yeah definitely Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte the third question is are there any new releases that you're still waiting for and for me that is first of all Queen of Nothing by Holly Black this is I think the last book in the I think Cool Prince series so the first book is Cool Prince the sequel is Wicked King and then we have Queen of Nothing. I am so excited for this book because I really, really did enjoy Wicked King and I just wanna know, I just want Jude to get the revenge that she deserves. So yeah, I am really, really excited. And another book that I have not mentioned much but is Blood Air. I think it will be coming in November as well. So this book just sounds amazing and I have been keeping my eye on it since the beginning of the year so yeah definitely those two so next question is what are three books that you hope hope to have finished by the end of the year and of course some of these are going to be uh, not new to you because I did do my fall TBR but let's just get those out of the way the first one is The Hobbit by George uh, George what J.R.R. Tolkien and then we have The Godless by Ben Peek. Uh, those two I mentioned in my TBR video but surprisingly I have a new one because it arrived in the mail and I just cannot mention it. Um, so The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. I think in my, in my previous vlog I mentioned how much I love The Crown's Game. It's one of my favorite books of this year and I cannot wait to just read The Crown's Fate to see what is going to happen next. I kind of want to read it now <laughs> but yeah I cannot wait. I'm totally gonna do a vlog about this one because I did make one about the first book so let's just see how this goes. The next question is, is there any book that you think that will shock you and become one of the favorite books of the next year or of this year? Sorry, I'm so scatterbrained, but I am still going to say The Godless by Ben Peek. The premise of this book sounds so great and I think I am hyping it so much in my mind and I am scared that it will not live up to my expectations, but at the same time, this sounds so good and I think it's gonna be a new favorite of the year so yeah if you don't know this is a book about uh, a war between human and gods and the humans win this war but the corpses of these gods are still all around the world and basically people are turning up with the powers of these gods especially those that are uh, 
near these corpses so yeah it's really interesting i think that's the premise if i miss something or if i uh, i don't know did not say something right about the plot i apologize but that's what i got from it uh but yeah this just sounds amazing i have never heard anything like it and i'm just really excited and finally are there any reading plans that you have for year 2020 which is just bizarre to think about the fact that we're soon gonna be in year 2020 but uh, I think that this year was really really important and crucial to my reading taste because my reading taste have changed a lot I began the year with uh, a lot of just YA books, YA fantasy, and this year has slowly turned into more classics, more adult fantasy, bit of a contemporary, although I am not reading that much. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of more genres that I am reading, so I really want to bring that into the next year. Particularly, I really want to read more non-fiction, and not necessarily um, memoirs, although I really really do like memoirs, but I really want to read about the things that are happening right now in our just in our world. So energy, climate change, our eating. Um, I saw a book that it's called I think Should Humans Eat Meat? Which is, I am not vegetarian, I am an, a meat eater, but I really do want to dive into the science behind all of this if and see if humans should really do eat meat or not it's just so weird but that i also saw a book about uh statistics and how basically a lot of politicians and these different institutions have learned to lie with statistics so yeah it's just bizarre and i just want to learn more um, another one was about uh, AI and the future of AI so it's just so many top topics that I'm just interested in and yeah um, apart from that I really just I cannot wait for the I think don't quote me on this but I think that the Nessian the fourth Akatar book is coming out next year and so excited <laughs> i am so excited um so maybe i will be doing a readathon or a read-along of the akatar series if you guys would like that let me know i will totally do it um in preparation for the fourth akatar book and we're also getting crescent city by sarah j mass as well so a lot my sarah j mass uh, trash heart is just gonna thrive next year so so many good books coming up so many um so yeah i guess those are my plans so far and yeah maybe i will up my reading goal i don't think so i like to keep it keep it at 50 um so yeah i guess that is all for the tag thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys with the next video bye